Today we're going to be learning about stair step rationals. That's just something that I like to call them because they look like stair steps, as you can see here. But really these are just complex rationals. So these are just more fractions within fractions and dealing through um, dealing with those things. So if we look at this, we have 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus x. And so the biggest thing with these is actually um, trying to keep track of what the heck you got going on with things. And typically you would think that, okay, I've got 1 plus this thing, but that's a crazy common denominator to try and find. So we're actually not going to start here. We're going to start all the way down here. So we have 1 divided by 1 plus x. Well, that is fine to leave as it is. Like, that's a fraction that's good to go. But we're going to deal with this piece. Okay, and I'm going to strongly suggest that as you're doing these questions, you're kind of circling and keeping track of what piece you're actually looking at and dealing with at each time to help you out. So if we're starting here, okay, I'm going to come this way with my work. We need to get a common denominator between those two things which means our common denominator would be 1 plus x. You could also write that as x plus 1. doesn't matter. So the first fraction is missing the x plus 1 or the 1 plus x. And the second fraction is already has that common denominator, so we just need the plus 1. So that means that here we would have x plus 2 over 1 plus x. Or again, you could write that as x plus 1. All right, so I'm going to take this and plug it in for that circle. So I still have 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 divided by, and then I'm going to plug this in um, 1 plus x. Okay, so then we're moving on, and now we need to deal with this part right here. Okay, so you're noticing I'm using a bunch of different colors. You don't have to do that at all, but if it helps you, that's fine as well. All right, so here this means that we're taking 1 divided by x plus 2 over 1 plus x. Well, how do we divide? We keep the first fraction the same, and we flip the second one. And then when we're multiplying, okay, when you're multiplying 1 times anything, it's just going to keep it the same. It's not going to change anything. So that means in that circle place, we're going to um, make that be this. Okay? So now we have 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus x over x plus 2. Okay? So the next piece to deal with is this here. So we have to add those two pieces together. So I'm going to come here with my work. Um, so we have 1 plus, uh, let's see, actually I'm not going to write it that way. We're just going to work on getting that common denominator. So our common denominator is x plus 2. The first fraction is missing the x plus 2. The second fraction already has it, so we're keeping that numerator which means when we actually add those together, we get 2x plus 3 over x plus 2. Okay, so that's going to go in the place of that circle. All right, so then we have 1 plus 1 over 2x plus 3 divided by x plus 2. So we're getting closer here. So that means that we're going to deal with this division piece next. And as you're going, you might you might be picking up already on what's happening with this division. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So we're taking 1 divided by our fraction there, which means we're going to keep the 1. Okay, that's technically 1 over 1. And we're going to multiply it by the reciprocal. So x plus 2 over 2x plus 3. And when you take multiply, one by anything, you just get that same thing again. So if we're looking at what happened here when we have one divided by something, what happened? Well, it's just the case that that fraction flipped, okay? So that's gonna go in the circle, in the place of the circle. So we have one plus 
2x plus 2 over 2x plus 3. And so now that's all we have left in this question. So we're going to actually solve this piece where we're going to get a common denominator between them. So our common denominator would be 2x plus 3. Since this is 1 over 1, uh, multiply that first fraction. So 1 times 2x plus 3 is 2x plus 3. And then we're going to add this x plus 2, since we already have the common denominator there, which means that our final answer would be 3x plus 5 over 2x plus 3. So this here is our final answer. There's lots of different pieces going through this, okay? You just have to make sure that you're keeping track of what's happening, um, and that's it, okay? So we're going to look at one more. So here we have 2 minus 1 divided by 1 minus 2 divided by x plus 1. So again, we're going to take this in pieces. Now, be very careful with this question because there are um, negatives or subtraction signs, okay? So um, you could change them all if you wanted right now. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's change all those two plus negatives. You don't have to. You could kind of follow along with them. Um, and change them as you go. So we have 1 plus a negative 2 divided by x plus 1. So that means that we need to get a common denominator between those. And our common denominator is going to be x plus 1. So the first fraction doesn't have that x plus 1. And then the second fraction does. So we just need to carry over the minus 2. So that would give us x minus 1 over x plus 1. Okay. So we're going to put that in the place for that. So we have 2 minus, oh, sorry, 2 plus negative 1 over x plus 1 divided by x minus, oh, x minus 1 over x plus 1. So let me make that be a different color so you can tell that this should be x minus 1 there. Okay, so now we're going to deal with this division piece. So we have a negative 1 divided by, remember when we divide, we're just going to flip the second fraction. So on this example, I will not um, show the division and then do the multiplication. So here we have the multiplication, which means we're going to distribute that negative 1 into this x plus 1. So that would give us negative x minus 1 over x minus 1. Now, that's going to look really tempting to cross things off, but those two things are not in common at all, okay? Um, so, we have 2 plus negative x minus 1 over x minus 1, and that's our last piece to deal with. So, we're going to make a common denominator between these of x minus 1. This first fraction is missing the x minus 1. So since this is a 2, we do have to remember to distribute that in. All the other ones we've been dealing with have just been negative 1 times something, um, or a 1 times something. So then this would give us 2x minus 2. The second fraction already has the common denominator, so we just need to carry down this negative x minus 1, which means that when we uh, combine like terms in the numerator, we get x minus 3 over x minus 1, and that is our final answer. Okay, so just make sure again, take your time. I'm suggesting that you circle or uh, keep really good track of what you're dealing with at any one time. And that's it.